Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to flip text box and Canva or mirroring vertically or horizontally in Canva. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is we first have to go to canva.com, log in into our account, and once logged in, we should start creating our project. Now in this case, let's go ahead and create this presentation here. And from this presentation here, we want to start adding our text. So at the left panel here, you should see the section for text here. So let's just wait for it to load up. So here, let's go ahead and click on text. And from text, you could go ahead and start adding a text box here, or you could use the following options. Like for example, we have happy birthday here. So let's go ahead and add this one. And once it's added, you could go ahead and edit it. Like for example, we want to remove the happy section here. Just delete, uh, delete the section here and just add birthday. Now, typically when we actually flip elements here, like photos, there's going to be an option here that says flip. Just to give you an example, I'm going to upload a photo here. So maybe we want to upload this photo here. Yeah, just for just an example. Now from here, once you select this photo here at the top left, you have your flip. So usually this is where you flip your photo. So this one, as you can see, our photo is being able to uh, flip. Uh, may it be horizontal or vertical, you can do it. Now in this case, when we click our uh, a text here, you won't have that option. You only have the change font size here, which is currently kind of sad because uh, right now we won't be able to directly flip this specific text here. But there is an option for us uh, to do this. So for example, what I want to do here, like for example, this is your canvas here. You could go ahead and just click on the add page section here. And from here, you could go ahead and copy your text. Let's, let's go ahead and click on copy and just paste it in another page here. And once you paste it, what you need to do is you need to save this uh, specific text. So at the top, right click on share here. And from here, you need to choose the option that says download. Now under download, instead of using PDF standard, we want to choose the option here for PNG because PNG file format actually supports transparent backgrounds. So in this case, you could go ahead and select the page here. Like for example, since we only have page two here, let's just choose page two. And from here, you have to enable the option that says transparent background. Now currently the transparent background option here is only available for Canva Pro. But in this case, you could go ahead and use any other tool that you have to make this photo transparent. But for now, let's go ahead and just download this photo in any transparent background. Now in here, I was able to successfully download this specific text here with a transparent background. Now in this case, let's go ahead and go to uploads here and we want to drag our PNG here to upload it. And once it's actually uploaded, you could go ahead and just drag it into your workspace here. So let's go ahead and drag it in here and as you can see once we were able to drag it in here we could go ahead and just resize it and make sure that's actually compatible or has the same size as our text in here in this case it's quite small so let's just make it a lot bigger more and as you can see it's almost there now in this case since we converted this into a photo you can now go ahead and start flipping your text here so at the top left you should see the flip here click on it and you have the vertical and horizontal options as you can see right now now from here you should be good yeah so this one is pretty simple so there's no direct way for you to flip text here but you have a workaround so saving it as a png with a transparent background and re-adding it into your workspace here should do the trick and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video